Chamber Break here. Uh, received a package today and very happy about it. This here is my IOR Valdata Patriot. And the um, parallax adjustment is right here on the actual tube of the scope, not over here where you mostly find it. So you actually turn this um, right and left for your distance. And in my video, previous video, you saw that this is the, where the Charlie goes. Anyway, instead of having it here, it's up here. I, I don't mind it up here. I actually don't dislike it at all. It's just when you're in the heat of a match or you're under stress, it can be somewhat of a challenge, I think. Uh, again, that might just be me. But here from MK Machine is a throw lever that I had made just for that portion of the scope. Now these often go back here, but the IOR Patriots or IOR Vadadas have a little notch here, which is basically a throw lever, and it works really well. So this here is the throw lever. Uh, these are 3D printed by MK Machine, mkmachine.com, and I want to thank them so much for for making this custom um, and they did it in no time at all and uh, it works or well I guess we're gonna find out if it works but it should work really good I also use their anti-static funnel which I can't uh, stress enough it actually is also printed uh, has these rotating angles inside of it and then I have the kit for all of the uh, different sizes right there uh, here's the extra extension and then here is the different sizes and whatnot for different calibers Right now I've got the 375 threaded on the end and it threads tight and I have loaded, I don't know, thousands of rounds with this. Uh, so this didn't come today but I just want to throw that out there because I love their 3D printed products. I was going to go with all aluminum but I decided not to uh, for that reason uh, because I, I uh, wanted to try something different so I did. So anyway, there's a small screw here. Uh, they actually have my name right on there. Um, it says MKM there on that side and my name right on the other side, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, then there's a screw, so you just take your 332nd uh, Allen wrench here, and we'll see if you can get this on video or not. And this would be a lot easier to do um, with the scope. Um, well, I guess it wouldn't be easier to do, but it would be easier than in the case of what I have, which I've got my level adjustment on here. But you just open this up real gently. Um, I believe this is a nylon material uh, that they're using and you come down you pop this down over your scope and because I've got my uh, level on there this is a little bit more of a challenge than probably should be um, but there you go uh, that's how it just goes on and you don't want to open it too far but if you were to put one in the back um, on your magnification then it would go on exactly the same way. Now the only thing I have to be aware of here is that I want to make sure that I have plenty of adjustment so I want to turn this because this would hit the frame. I want to turn this because I had this magnified powered down. Uh, I'm going to put it at right there on that little there's a little dot. Uh, the screw fell out and so I'm going to put the screw back in and start to thread it in. There we go. And then you hold this together. Sorry if you can't see it, my feet are in the way. But um, that's my camera angle, so there you go. Anyway, get that in there. One of the things you want to make sure on these is you don't over tighten them because you can't over tighten through the, through the, and actually squeeze it together too much. Let's see, did I get that in there? Okay, and so it has a little metal, um, I would call it a washer, it could be, could just be a piece of a metal, and then on the other side is a little brass fitting that this will thread into on that side, and so this should, get this on here, start to pull this together and tighten up. Uh, all they did was ask me my measurements, and I don't know that they can make these for everybody, but I know on the IOR, uh, this is a little bit of a unique location because it's clear forward. Whoops, it's already tightened down on me. I didn't want it right there. I want it to be lined up with my, my little dot here. So I'm going to move this, center this, because we're almost there. 
Move that down there. And, you know, actually, I think I would rather have it a little down here, actually, uh, so that I can reach the throw even quicker from my, from my uh, shooting position. So, yeah, let's do that. So again, the only thing that this would be a downfall is that for this scope particularly, uh, this goes all the way around um, the entire tube to magnify, or I'm sorry, not to magnify, but to get to the closest distance. And so in order to do that, um, this is going to hit the frame. So here we go. I want to just make the gap closed. And there it is. Look at that. That's full mag or full distance and that there is below 25 yards and now I can go right back up. This scope has a real fine adjustment when you're at like a thousand plus and so having that ability to just kind of tap that is going to be a real nice feature. There you go. I am Chamber Break. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Send me any questions you might have. Thank you. Enjoy. Forward forever. Backward never.